The renewal of sponsorship was made known today at SB Brewery's Brew Kettle in Port Moresby by CEO Stan Joyce. Joyce said the success of the Hunters program over the past two years was enough to guarantee 7.6 million kina for the next five years. It has brought immense success. Uh, there were some doubters at the, at the start, not that many I must say, but there was some doubt. But look at what we've achieved by working together. Um, we agreed to pay a 500,000 kina sign up, new sign up fee, which is a, then a cash payment to the league and then increase the sponsorship every year by a 10% amount through for five years. Because we think that reflects you know, fairness and also the growing value of the sponsorship. With the increased support of rugby league fans over the last year, Sports Minister Justin Chichenko said the SB Hunters will be used as a marketing tool for tourism in the country. And as the Minister now for Tourism and Sports it's a perfect opportunity to bring those two things together, especially with the Intra Super Cup, because we are promoting not only Papua New Guinea, uh, we're also promoting ourselves uh, in Queensland, Australia, and throughout Australia as well. With the increase in sponsorship and the idea of using the Hunters as an attraction to the country, some could say there is immense pressure on the shoulders of coach Michael Marum to again better the performance of his team. But cool, calm and collected as he is, Marum's confidence in his team goes as far as debuting seven new blokes from the Intercity Cup for this year's season. We aim to go one better, but you know, uh, at home, playing here in Port Mosby, uh, they expect big crowds to come and support the boys, but you know, it's going to be tough on us. The other teams know what sort of football we play now, but then uh, uh, we're going to go out there, we can be out and play our best football. Then. The Hunters have another big year ahead, beginning with a trial match against the Penrith Panthers next weekend at the National Football Stadium. Lorraine Genia, National MTV Sports.